Hey everyone, it's Michael back with a new series from Econolite. After installing a ton of products at my house and even my family and friends' homes, I thought it'd be cool to drill down and get into the weeds about LED lighting. Let's get started. So when you start your LED lighting journey, you're gonna come across some acronyms that may be new to you. CRI and CCT are the two most common and both have a dramatic impact on how your space looks and even feels. CRI, or Color Rendering Index, and CCT, Correlated Color Temperature, both concern the color of the LED light but they're referring to different things. So knowing what they are and what they mean will give you the confidence you need to select the right fixture for your space. Let's start by digging into what CRI is. CRI is the measure of the light source's ability to appear natural when compared to the referential light source we all know, daylight or an old incandescent light. Think of it as the measure of how well the LED light performs compared to the source. In an LED fixture specs, you'll see CRI represented as a number. That number is determined by assigning a numeric value of 100, or a perfect score, to sunlight and measuring how well the LED scores compare to 100. So the higher the CRI, the better performance and the color quality of your LED. Another good rule of thumb is the higher the CRI, the better colors on clothing, walls, objects will appear underneath that light. When selecting your LED fixture, look for a minimum CRI that suits your specific application needs. It's a good rule of thumb to stick to LEDs that have a CRI of at least 70 for outdoor, 80 for indoor, 90 for residential and retail. And it's really that simple. Now that we've tackled CRI, let's move on to CCT. CCT, correlated color temperature, also refers to the color of light, but it's different from CRI because it speaks to how yellow or how blue the white light emitting from the fixture appears. In fact, you may have noticed this before, you just didn't know exactly how to describe it. I think this is where some images are really going to help you understand what I mean. CCT is a measure of units called Kelvin, or K, and ranges from 2300K to 6000K. The lower the CCT is in Kelvins, the more warm and yellow the light is going to appear. As you move up the Kelvin scale, you'll notice that light becomes more cool and blue in appearance. Maybe you're wondering why this even matters. Who cares, right? Well, the color temperature in the room not only impacts how the space looks, but also impacts how you feel. Think about it. When you walk into a warm room, what kind of feelings does that generate? Perhaps a sense of coziness, or maybe even sleepiness. That's why LEDs with lower CCTs are well suited for applications like accent lining in high-end restaurants, or cozy places within your home, anywhere you want a more intimate feeling. On the other end of the spectrum, when you enter a room with a high color temperature, you may feel alert, energetic, or invigorated, making them a great choice for places like hospitals, schools, sporting arenas, and even kitchens anywhere you want to create a feeling similar to that of natural daylight. Hopefully I've given you enough information and maybe some confidence in selecting a fixture that's right for you or your customers. But if you have any questions, Econolite has you covered with real life customer service reps to answer your questions and tons of resources you can dig into. Find everything you need at Econolite.com.